<laughs> okay. Hi. All right. Now I see it. Now I see it. We have a amazing beer sponsor. Shout out to our live studio audience member, Jeremiah. Yes. Woo! Very cool. <laughs> Very cool. Hello. Hello, friends. Hello, Jim. Hello, Yeah, Kyle. I hit the applause button yeah. for him. <laughs> he didn't tell me there's stuff we oh. can hit. Oh. Happy Ooh. Thursday. Happy Thursday. Man. I live Thursdays to Thursdays. Per- Dude, it's the... Oh. Oh. oh, that's embarrassing. I definitely thought it was like... like I watched it like fall in slow motion. I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh. To anybody out there drinking with us, glasses up. Thank you. Thank that you for sipping... So for those of you, because you couldn't see it, um, the light fell. Yes. Yeah. I saw my light flash before my eyes. Don't advocate you drink and you drive, but if you do, do it safely. What? No, don't do it. Just stay home. I said don't the drink. Live stream. I said I don't advocate you do it. Like, don't do it. Is it worse for us to tell people to drink and drive or to watch our live stream while they're driving? Yes. <laughs> hey, watch yes. our live stream while drinking oh and driving. Oh, my gosh. The firing pin live. What a great, <laughs> what a great intro. Uh, no Joe tonight. Oh shit. I didn't even know it. I put a chair out. You can't see it, but I put a chair out for in solidarity. <laughs> Pour a little I'll out. have to clean that up later. <laughs> That's why I didn't do it. <laughs> That's Brian work. Thank you. Thank you. Speaking Sh- of shout out to arms preservation, Inc. Are like one of our longest and greatest sponsors. Absolutely. Definitely the coolest sponsors. Sorry. Beyond driven. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Fitness, but yeah. yeah. They, I would much rather hang they out. They preserve like your life running, but Arms Preservation Inc. preserves your life through ammunition. Right. And that's way cooler. That's so much like, yeah. Why do I need to run fast if I can shoot something at 1300 <laughs> feet per second? I'll just store my stuff and my stuff will live for forever. Yes. For yeah. <laughs> my kids will have my Rolex <laughs> that I don't own yet. But if the Egyptians had had API bags, they wouldn't have had to build those pyramids. And they'd probably <laughs> still be around. Just, just lined, like just, the parents were just lined just with blue. API bags. <laughs> it oh belongs in a museum. Yeah. It belongs in an API bag. <laughs> there you go. There's your next marketing campaign. We'll send you the bill. It's cool. You can use it for free, please. Yeah, we know. We love you guys. <laughs> uh, but we also do have another sponsor that is pretty cool. <laughs> And it is beyond driven. And I'm going to drink a beer while you talk about performance fitness. And fitness. Yeah, g- clearly I'm the guy, yeah, to speak of fitness. Um, the only way that I know about them is they're across from the McDonald's. In <laughs> That's why I know where they are. Uh, they are literally voted, though, best gym in Genesee County. By and far away, the best one in our area. 24-7 access. They're constantly improving that place. Like, There's nothing worse than a gym that just stays the same. Yeah. Like, nothing gets updated. And they don't try to introduce any cool new stuff. Uh, and that's the opposite of Beyond Driven. They're always looking for new like uh, ways to gather data on like how you're doing. And like I just I have a scale and it's just fat. Uh, but they have all these <laughs> What does your data say about you? <laughs> this is get off me. <laughs> get off. I yield. I yield. Uh, so yeah, Beyond Driven. They are amazing. Go check them out. Go join them. And and be not fat. That's the. That's what you should be doing. Right I'd rather. Down. I'd rather preserve my ammo. Well, there you go. An there APO. you go. Yeah, I'm with Chris. He's in shape. Round is a shape. So, and Jim's gonna get us a Bolex in the city for 1995. So, that sounds fun. What's what is the, like? Is there a, like a battery park of Rochester? Like you ever been to New York City? Yeah, Rose Park. Like, is it? Yeah. Probably. You just get whatever you need. Yeah. Just open air. <laughs> I would imagine Rose Park is you know that park uh, that how we get down to the waterfall? Oh, the Rose Garden. Yeah. Is it Rose Garden? Yeah. Rose Garden Maple, Park. Maplewood Rose Off Garden of Park. Ave. E? Driving Park. Driving Park Avenue. Which I think I don't think that is Avd. Jim's like it's, not a, it's like Ave. It's like it, it's like the big bridge. Oh, it's over there. Yeah, yeah. Connects Regardless. to Lake Avenue. Yeah. I think that park's awesome. pretty like the, the they're putting a ton of money into that area. So. Are they? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Such a good use of yeah. money. They got a good uh, grant from like the Rock the Riverway stuff. So they're trying. And there's going to be that state park further south. So that'd they be should, cool. They should really develop it so you can walk down to Maple the waterfall. Wood. What am I thinking? Yeah, Maplewood Rose Garden Park. I know there was a rose somewhere in there. Yeah. They yes. definitely should make like stairs. Um, Mike's blocking my face. They should make some stairs down to the waterfall so you don't have to take that goat, goat path. It's yes. Like, wildly scary. It's pretty sketchy. It's half the fun though. What? And you'll just see, you'll see like legit Amish guys going down there to yeah, fish and yeah. stuff. And then like, wanna, we filmed the video going to, oof, 
Uh, <laughs> careful, careful with what you say. <laughs> the incinerator. Let's do one of the roast. Like, let's do one down there. We should. We haven't filmed the video. Are in a you while. using a coaster on this wood, by the way? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm ruining it. This wood I'm is the, this, this is the best kind of wood. Raw, <laughs> just hard, hard raw wood. Just hard raw wood. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. Derek says, look at that sexy building. Yes, this is our. Uh, Part of the new facility. This is the back room for those of us who haven't joined a oh, live stream about. in a while. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's got some nice curves. This is going to be our like warehouse space, our offices, as you can see. Those are our cubicles behind us. And you better not take my stapler. Office space. I saw the squirrels outside and they were married. But anyways, so this is going to be our back room, our gunsmith shop, our you know, the whole the whole back behind the scenes of the firing pin. Uh, eventually, though, this room was built uh, so that it could be turned into a shooting range. So that is part of our plans. Tyler's got a poster behind him that you can kind of see. You'll see him here if you come down to the shop, um, taking you to our crowdfunding campaign. So we're trying to raise some money, get this thing finished off right. And we've got an awesome deal going on memberships for when the new store opens. And we're getting there, getting closer every day. We're getting real close. I'm so close. Just slow down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so close. Maybe even take a break. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Jim, Jim's got to take us on a tour of the city someday. Please. That'd be fun. Jim, do you know how to get, they call it um, PR Falls or PR Caves. Sorry. Um, Genesee Brew House. That's where Jim's posting from right now, I think. <laughs> there's all the caverns in uh the the high falls do you know how to get to those caverns i really want to get there one day he knows where those caverns lead to we'll go in the other way under like the illuminati building that's actually what we were trying to get to when we rode our canoes yes first of all one canoe the canoe, the canoe. <laughs> that's fun we got to post that video it's already posted oh yeah we did we put out a lot of content. It's, I don't so remember some propaganda. Joe doesn't like that oh word. Oh my gosh! Oh my! I get gosh. yelled at for using propaganda or content. Oh, I'll post buddy. a video to that. Oh, buddy! I like propaganda more than content. <laughs> you know what else? You know who else loves propaganda? The government. You know what the government does? Did you hear what happened in Maine? No. They now have a seventy-two hour waiting period. That's some bullshit. To buy guns, yeah, yeah, and the governor. She did something sneaky, which I could see. Um, what's her name again? I don't even. I don't even like saying it. She who shall not be named. Uh, the tyrant. Oh, yes, tyrant. Tyrant. Uh, I was trying to think of like ty Tythy Hoke Hoke Hokel. I don't know. Doesn't, Call her doesn't play. She's loose Hokel. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, so the governor in Maine like didn't sign it, but she also didn't like veto it. So it just passed or whatever. Like. I guess they're one of those states. I don't know if New York's like this. Like, if the governor just takes no action on it, it just happens as long as it passes by a that certain uh, majority. Yeah. So, and the, really, there's only civil fines for breaking it. So, like, if you really wanted to, you could just not do it. And the first offense is like 500 bucks. So it's like, okay, it's just like a rich person's way to get out of it. Just pay the fine if you even get caught. Right. Uh, but of course, there's a, uh, Exemption for law enforcement. Cops need to be able to get their guns. Yeah, dude. You know, those who enforce citizens. the law should be above the yeah, law. Absolutely. Don't, don't be an asshole. Of course. <laughs> uh, hi, Mike. Hi. I can't find this video. It's all right. It's okay. It's probably, probably lost to the abyss. It's fine. It's just whatever. You know. Thanks. Dude. So <laughs> that's the title of the stream, man. It's hot. The welders took my fan. The welders got the fan upstairs because it's hotter. Heat rises, I guess. We've been doing a lot of work getting ready for concrete up in the mezzanine. It's got to be a nice four inches thick. It's like, you know, everybody knows that, right? Everybody. It's all I've been working with. That's <laughs> it's all you. It's all it's needed. Let me tell you, three time, three time <laughs> confirmation over here. Um, so yeah, we've been working a lot on stuff that just takes a lot of time and you got to do it right. And we're getting there. 
Triple O has been killing it in the range. You got to give them a lot of props. They are, it's crazy. Like, you know, you remember Triple O, like, oh, yeah. they were relatively small. I've watched Triple O grow so large. It's, I'm impressed. I love yeah. them. They're everywhere. I mean, I see their trucks all over town and their billboards. You know, you'll see them like downtown in the city. I've seen them out in the boonies, you know, like they're just, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. Yeah. Luke and his team over there, super cool. And they're doing our range ventilation. So they're killing that. And it's uh, a very impressive system. And I can't wait. Uh, the first time we go live with it. Um, I don't know. We'll probably do a dry run first. I'm sure, but we will go live. We're going to shoot and, the ceilings uh, first. Yeah. Oh no. Where were we last week, by the way? We weren't here. <laughs> Keep going. Turn up Tyler's mic. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom in. I wasn't here. Oh. Awkward. Partied ooh, without me. Brother, ooh, no. You didn't go with me. Yeah, yep. oh, Way with too with cool us. for me. Yeah. Some of us went myself. to the Red Wings game. So that's where we were. Yeah, well. Speaking of, Joe, did you see the Bat Boy singing God Bless America? I did. He's he killed good. it. That good. that brought a tear to my eye. Like I was holding my son, and like I had just cut some onions, and the sunset was perfect. Not me. And... I'm toxic, bro. <laughs> and it was just, it was just beautiful. It was beautiful. Sure it was. He he killed it, man. He killed it. I wanted to hear him sing "Take Me Out to the, the Ball Game" though too. I wanted to hear him just keep going, but another one. <laughs> People were saying that he should sing that every game. No, like it was that good. But we've got some more tickets to that. I don't know. I think we should do a giveaway night where I don't know. Maybe viewers of this live stream. I want to come hang out. Maybe we pick. Uh, we do some trivia or something. I don't know. We're gonna just like next week, next live stream. Let's pick. Some people will come. Donna, up you want to come watch a game with us? <laughs> yeah, it'll end up, <laughs> it will be her. It will be. She always wins. Um, we do. We are honest about our like. Our for real, are we couldn't rigged. be like. I promise you. Oh, it's so funny. Yeah, we got some tickets still. I think it'd be fun. It's a fun time out there. I don't know. I'm not a big sports guy, but that just feels. I don't know. It's community baseball. That's the name of the team. You know, or the legal name, anyways. What's the legal name? I think the legal name of the company is like Rochester Community Baseball Inc. Like cool. doing like DBA or like playing as the Red Wings or whatever. Cool. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. So I don't know. What have you been up to? Just scrolling, dude. Just trying to find that one video yeah. where we fell in the water. Dude, I, like dude. I worked so hard on that video. Almost as hard as you did to not fall in the water. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Not hard enough. We fell in, but yeah. <laughs> I find it funny that I wore that life jacket. I had one of those ones that's like really small and then it inflates with a CO2 cartridge. I'd worn that like all summer. Never even probably gotten a drop of water on it. And then I go canoeing with him once. And <laughs> well, to be fair, we're both a <laughs> couple of big boys. Yeah, and... we should have brought two canoes is what we should have done. You assured me it'd be fine. Probably yeah, because I thought you had some sense of balance, you know. No, uh, don't even. Just you know, I'm a yacker, dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we had a little sale over the weekend. Sale. Saw a lot of you. It was really cool. Got rid of a ton of stuff. There are still a few things left that did not sell somehow we had people put like thousands in a cart like pre pre discount um yeah like multi multi thousand dollar cash out like four thousand dollars yeah yeah but we still have some stuff i don't know do you want to do the mystery box thing i think that'd be pretty fun for what so we were talking about just like getting some boxes and putting in uh, uh, an assortment of the leftovers of what's left, which is all good stuff. It's all like cleaning stuff, gun accessories. Um, where'd my turkey call go? I had a turkey call out here. You know, just random, random stuff. <laughs> just give that a shake. There we go. Random stuff. <laughs> and we didn't turn over this way. Oh, what? 
Ah, so anyways, you moved the mic to get it out of your face, and then you kept moving. Now it's in your face again. Just have some is a <laughs> oh my god! So we've been talking about putting together some mystery boxes where we will guarantee we have like one. there's two hundred dollars worth of stuff in here, and you can have it for twenty bucks. You just don't know what's in it yet. So they make great Chris- Christmas gifts, um, but there's genuinely a lot of good stuff. I mean, we're trying to just make some room. We've got a lot of stuff left over from the fire that's been sitting in shipping containers that I'm tired of paying for. And we finally had room to like put the stuff out on shelves and like go through it. Um, and again, thank you to everybody that came out and bought some of that stuff because a good 80 or 90% of it is gone. But yeah, we want to get rid of the rest of it. I don't know. Somebody listening wants to throw us an offer for all of it. Like you can come down and check it out. I don't know. There's probably a good... We we do have a mystery box that is like there. If you saw the post today on Facebook, what? Um, we have a Millsurp mystery box. Like it's a small box, and it'll come with like one to two Millsurp pouches, or twelve dollars plus shipping. What? So ten Millsurp pouches? Two, but forty Millsurp pouches. <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, we can't afford. Please this. put liftgate delivery. As an option, so we can just send you a pallet. I have pallets of military surplus stuff, please. You're filling out the white sheet, right? <laughs> the clock is not for sale, by the way. The clock is for sale. No, Best offers. No. Do I have two hundred dollars? No. <laughs> it's too cheap. First person to say fifty dollars gets it no. for ten. Oh my god. And that's 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 of, illegal in binding. Padre Benitez, he's overlooking us right now. I didn't even realize you could see him over there. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can't take you anywhere. Yeah, I get that a lot. Yeah. Especially from yeah. Darnell. <laughs> people people Darnell is actually known as my conscience. People call him that all of the time because he's always like, dude, what? <laughs> like stop. What are you doing? Uh, it was funny. He asked, like, because we have a class this weekend and he's gonna help with it. He's like, hey, like how do you want me to dress like polo shirt, you know, whatever, like, however. And I was like, no man, like you just, just be yourself. Like you do whatever you want. And he's like, cowboying it up then. (laughs) All right. Full Western gear. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Uh, Marianne asks, how is Darnell? He's amazing. He's such a good boy. He is. What you need to ask is where, (laughs) when is Darnell? No, (laughs) that is also, I think he's a time traveler. I don't even think it's human. <laughs> I think I think he's a robot. Oh my gosh. He definitely comes from a time traveling like cyborg race <laughs> of humans. And they like left him here on Earth. Like he is, I think he is time immemorial. I'll put it that way. <laughs> there is nobody like Darnell, and there will never be anybody like Darnell. No, one one of one. I wish like I wish, yeah. There's another Brandon Lewis in this town. Yeah, I know you have to burst. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm saying. Graduated a few years younger than me. It's not awkward at the bank at all when they <laughs> screw that up. It's fine. <sighs> yeah, Darnell is going to start doing some private lessons. Actually. He's kind of already started. He has, yeah. Uh, we are revamping or just adding to our offerings on Booksy. So soon you'll be able to... Like when you look us up on Google, you know, you look up like a restaurant or whatever, you could book a table. You could do the same thing with our shooting range, right? And soon you'll also be able to book private lessons, same fashion. So you can go in there like I want range time or I want a private lesson. You'll be able to pick the different instructor. You'll see their availability. You can just sign up for an available lesson, you know, like two, three, four weeks out, whatever. And uh, it'll send you a reminder and come in and do your lesson. So I think that'll be pretty cool. Pretty, Pretty cool. Sorry, I can't stop thinking about Darnell. He just starts doing this. <laughs> uh, facts. <laughs> so what else? What else? Short stream tonight. Bite. It's just bite. Let's just go home. Yeah? All right. It's not as cool when I do it. It's not. It's not as cool. My ear looks cool. <laughs> and actually injured. I thought we were I thought we were gonna twin on that, but nope. For once I was actually excited. How did he heal so fast? It make no sense. Adrenochrome. Oh, I mean <laughs> it's it's a theory. 
it's the theory. Does it just come in like a can? What are the, how do they like? It's like Botox. So you like, go to Disney. They just give you a kid. Yeah. <laughs> you you pick the one you want. How many levels deep are you under the Magic Castle? Or is it in oh, the? Is it up in the top? That's or is at least it like two trees? It's like you're under sub. Yeah. So do they have the entire? You know, how like in the in the intro imagery, the castle's like reflected on the water. I yeah. would say is that because like okay, it's like a tree. Like you see the above castle, and then it's like completely mirrored, and there's like a under castle. I can hear the helicopter now. Like <laughs> Disney's gonna kill you. <laughs> take us out. Are you suicidal? Never have been. Okay, that's I probably should not probably say not that. Till tonight, word live. Yeah, no, come on, dude. Are you less? Are, do you want? There's no. There's no good way to say it. Do you? Do you not want to do forever sleep? Don't lie for the other guy. <laughs> do you want a sore slide? <laughs> Twice in the back of the head. Marianne, no, you cannot 50 have bucks. a rock for five dollars. Speaking of, it's hard to kind of tell because it's a, got a very nice shiny finish. There's a gorgeous American flag. Uh, what is that? Like a plaque, you would say, made out of wood. Yeah. That uh, you can. Marianne donated, in memory of, uh, I guess Bruce, right? Yeah. For her. my grandpa. Yeah. Right. Super cool. Donated to the firing pin, Bruce and Marianne Cooper. Thank you very much. She brought that down uh, during the sale, didn't she? On my birthday. Yeah. Aww. I'm just proud of you for making it through 27, because that's like the number, right? Yeah. Yes. So you made it. Shout out to the fathers that didn't raise us. <laughs> Can't. So my dad, social. My, my dad was very there. <laughs> he was a very supportive father. In his own way. Yeah, I never learned how to catch a ball. You never got yelled at on how to hold a flashlight the right way? No. Okay. Well, not at all. We'll work on that. Be more like Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> it's like my favorite scene from uh, that 70s show. I'm just really good at I'm just really good at like using them. Oh, you fucker. I'm going to use that fucking DeWalt thing. <laughs> That's the best one. It's like 15 lumens. Dude. It sucks that everybody from that show was like pieces of shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like such uh, a good show though. What's the one guy's name? Masterson. Right. Yeah. Uh, Hyde. Right. On is the that show? his actual. I only know him as Hyde. Yeah. Hyde. He was like a fucking rapist. Like, yeah. It was bad. And Jackie was underage and like hooking up with Ashton Kutcher or something. Such a good show. <laughs> but it's not really funny, <laughs> but, but made us laugh. TV. Is that what people are going to say about us like in the future? <laughs> like, no, we're not pieces oh of God. shit. <laughs> I'm like, well, by today's standards. Oh, shit. <laughs> future goes on. There's some, there's some pre-crime probably going on right now. <laughs> Thought, there's, definitely there's thought crimes going on. Commit thought crimes. You know what? Yeah. Keep them out of your head. So some of these shirts. So I got shirts for sale if anybody wants them. Drop a link. Five dollars. We actually have shirts like in stock. A lot of times in the past, our merch has been one of those like print. Like you order it Direct and then they make print. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they ship it to you. So we haven't actually had them in stock. We have a bunch of shirts in stock now. We still have Freedom Weekend shirts like the one behind me too in select sizes, mostly XL and 2X and 3X, I think, and 4X, maybe. I haven't two. gone through, and I need somebody to... Yeah, we sold a bunch of them. We sold just... so many of them and didn't inventory them. So inventory might be a little fucked. Yeah. If Tyler you... will make you one, though. If, if we ran out of the size you want, he will make you one. Yeah, we got we got to get the biker shirts again. Those yeah. Biker, those biker shirts slap. That was the coolest shirt. Buy all the other shirts first, and then we'll get some biker shirts. Okay. Okay. All right. Like your shirt. We know you're watching. <laughs> I'm trying to think of if anything else cool has happened or is coming up. I don't know. Been a lot of uh, just construction stuff for me lately. Go on. We had the pad out back. So yeah. triple O has a ventilation system on the roof of the range <laughs> and then they have one on the back side of the range out here and that's like the exhaust side of it right and so they needed a pad to put that on 
there's gonna be like a 12 by 12 pad and then we were talking to the guys that are doing that shout out to pro construction the taylor family taylor taylor bros and fam yeah super cool customers of ours for a long time super based uh and they run and they build home ranges super small don't tell people that super small the only range that exists is this one they they're a super small company literally just like the three of them like their dad and the two brothers and they'll come out do whatever kind of concrete and groundwork you need so we were talking and it's like all right if you're gonna pour a 12 by 12 pad it was like three yards of concrete maybe and it's like all right well the truck holds 10 and you're you're pretty much paying for the whole, not the whole truck worth of concrete, but like you're paying a fee. There's like a fuel surcharge now. So you're paying like kind of a set fee for the truck to just show up. It's kind of a waste to just put three yards of concrete down. I was like, all right, well, let's go like across. Like, why don't we do more of the back building? And then it turned out we just went the full width of behind the building with concrete. So yeah, they poured that today and it looks great. They did a really good job and I'm excited to have more concrete i don't know <laughs> it's just fun i can hardly sleep at night it's just <laughs> it's just, we yeah. have more concrete so then they're getting ready um the mezzanine needed a little bit of work to just to make sure that there was the appropriate depth of concrete up there so they're getting ready hopefully next week here to pour that concrete and then once the upstairs is poured they can do the downstairs and then once all that concrete is poured it's a mad dash to the finish line as far as we are concerned we gotta frame up some walls that way like the electricians and the plumbers can go in there and and put all their stuff in the walls for the bathrooms and whatnot and it's gonna be a lot of late nights maybe we should post the discord and people that want to help out that's where i reach out is on discord it's like hey i'm gonna be here today doing this if you feel like helping i usually buy pizza and beer and hugs so oh i don't buy the hugs but you get the hugs for free can you buy hugs? Like, okay. yeah, twenty bucks. I'll give Going you a hug. A... <laughs> it's like you when... can buy you can buy cuddling. It's dude. like, a... That's like... <laughs> they used to... is that still a thing in Rochester? I know it used to. Be. I know, like it used to be like by Ape and Canary, the, right? Um, what the, the snuggery. Yeah, is that what it was called? You can literally just hire somebody to, to, to spoon you on. <laughs> I get clothes on. No, like clothes are like like there are mandatory. Cost- there are customers that I one hundred percent know went there. I, you just look you're like that guy likes to cuddle I'm like i'm not his demographic he doesn't want to cuddle me or you maybe you back i saw the room i just wanted to tour and it looked very used it was just... very cuddled <laughs> <laughs> very that room looked very cuddled i would love to know just like yeah what's like the vibe of that place i just want to like like i want them to have a waiver so i can start getting the data like what the, <laughs> oh the age group the female the male ratio all male 60, yeah. 60 <laughs> plus like <laughs> balding in oh spots. my gosh in all the spots <laughs> maybe we should open up a cuddlery <laughs> Brandon's bear service it would just... <laughs> <laughs> that's more of a bathhouse it's more of a <laughs> that's a that's a that's a truck stop that's a, that's a service <laughs> What do you think they call it a service center? <laughs> uh, oh, it's gonna be fun to have. Freedom. Oh, you beat me so like. It's been like a minute. You're still you're like oh you're still working on that. Yeah. <laughs> it's all right. I'm just trying to plan a whole other business on top of the business. All right, kid. The cuddlery, dude. Oh, okay. Instead of the cigar lounge upstairs, we just yeah, have a cuddle, cuddle, cuddle room. room. Fucking beanbag chairs. <laughs> like, <laughs> we'll whisper nice things for surcharge. It's just, <laughs> I was going to say a ball pit, but that's kind of self evident. To... Imagine having to clean a ball pit. Ugh. How hard is that? Anybody that worked at McDonald's back in the day, how, how do you clean a ball pit? You just like vacuum them up like the range and then. I think so. I think so. Kid just pukes in the ball pit. That's got to be so annoying. That, that just ruins your day. They tell you about the flyer we got from a range in Pennsylvania that makes their own like range cleaning system. So That's we've had funny. a lot of you probably know this already, but we've had a company for the past like probably eight or nine years come in and they have this giant trailer and they have these giant vacuum hoses that are like 10 inches around 
and I asked them once, like, how powerful is that vacuum? They said, it'll lift, dick off. it'll lift four inches of mercury. And I was like, that means nothing. But that <laughs> sounds impressive. Like, all right, man. Hell yeah. Right? Uh, so they would, they, they'd have this giant trailer, and they'd put all these hoses together, and it took so long. And, yeah, they basically, like, shovel the rubber and the lead down onto the ground, and then this vacuum picks it up, and they send it into the trailer, and they spin it with a centrifuge. And they clean it and they suck out the fine particles and the dust and the fluff and stuff. And then there's another vacuum line that returns like the cleaned rubber. Yeah. So it takes them like all night to do our size range. And they come in when we're closed. They do it. They're all Tyvek suited up and they just go from like range to range traveling the country in this giant loop. Um, but they keep the lead. That's kind of the. The, the the payment the gist yeah like we don't pay them and they keep the lead but they've pulled out like 16 17 thousand pounds of lead yeah they pulled out like 32,000 like, pounds one year lead goes for like a dollar a pound you know so like yeah they're doing it for free but they're getting some good money for it right so anyways this company down in pennsylvania i think it's tss are the initials it's like tactical shooting solutions or something like that, I want to say. But they've got a range down yes, by, nice. uh, like, there's like just west of Philly, like southwest of Philly. And they've been open for, like, seven or eight years. I think they've got 27 lanes total at their facility. And, yeah, I think more so than losing out on the money, because, again, like, no big deal. Like, you're doing all the work, all the risk, all the reward, like, whatever, cool. Oh, it's such a we get it. We get a clean range, like, whatever. The thing that sucks, though, is you're – you succumb to their schedule. Like you're just, you have no choice, but to like, okay, if they're not going to be here for two months, they're not going to be here for two months or they schedule and something breaks and they just never come. Right. Here. Yeah. Yeah. And they've been here before. I mean, bless their heart, as they say in the South, um, that's where they're from, like South Carolina or whatever. Uh, first of all, it's a super crappy job. So like they have a hard time finding people that aren't felons to do it, I think. So that's always kind of just like, you have like, random like heroin addicts yeah. from like South Carolina in you your back they room, have an itch. like all night. So you got to like babysit them and stuff and it's annoying. And then, yeah, like there was one time they were here for like a full week and I had to be here like overnight. They don't come in until you close. So they were here from like 8 PM till like four or 5 AM. And I got overnight with you a couple times. I got to be here. Yeah. And I got to stay up and like, it just throws your whole rhythm off. Right. And their machine would just break and it's like, all right, well, we'll come back tomorrow and try like oh my god uh so anyways this company they make their own system seems pretty cool i got to reach out to them and see what pricing is and how it actually works but they say with two guys and you rent i learned today they're called a dingo so it's like this little like have you ever seen those lawnmowers that you stand on wasn't that your name in college <laughs> you you know those like standing lawnmowers right it's like one of those but with a little shovel on the front of it so it's like a little mini Scoop shot. Oh, it's a thing, dingo. Right? It's a dingo. Yeah, yeah it's a dingo. <laughs> it's a dingo. They don't eat babies. They could though. And so you get you rent one of those. They're like a couple hundred bucks. And two guys using one of those can clean a range in like six hours. And like, okay, even if you pay those guys like a thousand bucks each for six hours of work because it's shitty work, right? Like you clean that range, and then you've got all the lead, right? That you can then go scrap. And you're just, you could do it at your schedule. You could do it once a month if you wanted to. You could do it every other, you know, whatever. So you're not lot, you know, you're not beholden to anybody else's schedule. So that's what I really like about it. So we're going to look into that. The thing that sucks know. about that, though, is like you have to get guys lead trained, like yeah. lead exposure. Yeah. You do have to go through that, which I don't know how hard that is. I've never. Hazmat cleanup. Yeah. They still have a shower here now. So yeah. they can just go in there and shower each other down. Just have a, le a D lead vat. Yeah dunk each other in like terminator it's just lava it's a once it's a single person shower so one at a time well it's like those ones at flying j that we went to so company policy one <laughs> at a time. none of the boys can get pregnant at work okay <laughs> there's like some kind of sensor that can tell if like more than one person is in the bathroom and it's just like boop, boop. the cameras you have installed <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. I got to change those out. <laughs> they service the portage on tomorrow. I don't want to lose any footage. What an <sighs> awful place to put a camera. Didn't some dude get caught for that recently? 
Oh, saw it in the news. Like, and it was so shitty. It was just like a cell phone tape to the back. <laughs> uh, Todd asks, "How is your better half?" My wife, not me. She's doing great. She's uh, worth it. I always say I never let her forget that it's we, us, <laughs> ours. We are 32 weeks pregnant, so we're kind of in the home stretch. To uh, to quote my wife, being pregnant is not cute anymore. It's uh, it just hurts. Everything hurts. She has a foot in her rib all the time. So it's just I don't know. That's all I think about. All I can think about is just like meeting my baby and the future. I don't know. It's definitely a weird feeling being. A, I mean, I'm 28, so 27 years, no kid. Like I can be super selfish and not focus on the future as much, but yeah, yeah. that I have no choice but to focus on yeah. the future and raising a kid. Have so. you bought your New Balance sneakers yet? Um, those are actually <laughs> funny enough. The ones I wanted are on back order and they're kind of coming in around the same time. So <laughs> they'll be here just in That's time. Perfect. I'm sure you've seen that like family that does those videos yeah. with like the dad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. His shirt's tucked in. He has like the wolf shirt. Turning 30, like, <gasps> <sighs> so funny. Uh, I'm so says, excited. John says, good evening. Good evening, John. And Jim has a great song. It's a, it's a very good song. You should listen to that. I, I know. See, I, you lose me after the 10. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. It says big 10 inch. I can't, I can't even picture that. Just line up like four back to back. There you go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Right. <laughs> now I get it. All right. Uh, please just come up with a sale for inside. Come up with something to do. Don't shake it like you know I'm not supposed to. So we're gonna be a little understaffed this weekend. How about we flood the boys? Ten percent off all ammunition this Saturday and Sunday. Here we go. We do have a lot of ammo in stock. <laughs> and we only have two employees. So come make them work. Ten percent off yeah. for all of our live stream watchers. There you go. Yeah. Only if you say I saw on the live stream doing a sale. We're not gonna post this anywhere. <laughs> McArdle's looking at him. He's so pissed. <laughs> yeah, New York State's going to take a long time on that. So, Sucks. It's, uh, yeah. Dude, I swear, like, we'll never prove it, but I 100% know. You ever seen that scene in Forrest Gump where he's giving a speech and the, like, dude from the Army comes over and just starts, like, unplugging stuff from the sound system? Guaranteed, like there's just a random dude who works for the state police or for Nick's or whatever. Like, hmm, lunchtime, hmm, is that the server room? Hmm, wonder what this does. Bloop. She like unplugs <laughs> a random Ethernet line, like just turns the server rack off. Like, oh, is that important? Oh, cool. Bloop. Oh, but he can't do background checks. Well, the fan was making like a weird noise, so never prove it, but that's my. It's hat. also crazy that they have a third party company handling it. Yeah, don't like that. Don't like that. Yeah. I really don't know how we fight that. I really don't. It's been. Uh, I can tell you, but I can't say it live. <laughs> it sucks, though, because like it was new to us, but I want to say there's 20. I'm going to I'm going to approximate that there's about 20 states that are point of contact states. Yeah. Florida is one of them, like as as cool as everyone thinks Florida is gun rights not really yeah they've got a uh, waiting period too now don't they for guns dude there's just so much that happens it's so hard to always say yeah it is it's very difficult it's, it could be that would be a full-time job just trying to keep up with all of the different states laws and how much they change and um, if you can do that and if you're doing that right now recall bless your heart <laughs> 15 full point of contact states. yeah so there you go and then there's some partials where it's like long guns, no, but handguns, yes. Ridiculous. Like Ridiculous. Yeah, it, it doesn't keep the public safer, and it costs the public more money. Like, it's just dumb. It's just a job. It's it's welfare. And it's gaslight. Like, gaslighting, it's, as the young kids say. Yeah. Like, oh, we're going to do something to help stop crime. 
And then right. they do all these laws. Look, we're doing stuff to stop crime. Right. Crime only goes up. Ugh, it's not working. We need to do more. So going back to Maplewood, there was that shooting not too long ago at Maplewood Park. Was right? that the park? Yeah, yeah. The yeah. park where we would walk. To, that was that park. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Very two, cool. two women died. That's like, wild. From that shooting. And like multiple other people were injured. And I didn't mean cool and like that. Like very like I've been there like wild. Yeah. Like, hits home. Like I've taken my kids there. I've taken my wife yeah. there. Like we that's one of that's one of like Rochester's hidden gems of like natural beauty, like in the city. And that's what we love about it. But there's no way like, that wasn't gang. Like they have never come out and said what it was, but I bet my like left foot that, that was gang related. So there was a interview. If you go on uh, like Spotify, you can listen to like connections right on WXXI. And so they had a podcast about that and they had some like local uh, leaders in the community on there talking about like, you know, what was, yeah. Like what's their take on it? Like what do they think caused it and what, how could we prevent it and things like that. And the state, the city, the County, they all waste so much money, like trying to solve these problems and they just give this money to these groups that all have a president making, you know, hundred grand a year. And there's, there's all these foundations that are like, they, maybe they were started with good and pure intentions, but they've just grown, grown bloated yeah, and they have, all, you know, they just soak up all this money. And they're basically saying that like, what it takes is just people being involved in their community. And like, obviously it's kind of hyperbole, but they were, you know, basically saying that, like, if you had if you had someone who was a leader in the community, like, you know, one of the guys they were interviewing, like he was like, if I was there, I bet that shooting wouldn't have happened because, yeah. you know, like I am in with the community and I can see, you know, things are going to be happening. And I don't know. It's just it's just a shame that the government feels like they need to take our money and give it to other people to solve problems that like we can solve ourselves. Like, yeah, we're not reliant on the government. Yeah, midsection of the park, north of the Rose Garden, almost to the Vets Bridge area. So, yeah, it's a kind of a ways in there from where we usually like. Yeah, we usually hang out. Go by down that, to the trail. It's right there. That like foundation. Yeah. yeah. Hi, Joe. Hi. Where are you? Aren't you out fishing somewhere? Is he back? He just got back. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. It'd be fun to do, like a game stream. Like we should just bring up like. Joe and I were playing Battlefield the other day. Just oh. be fun to like video games. Yeah. Just like do a live stream and play and a bunch of nerds. Stream a magic tournament. Okay. <laughs> Cringe. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Were you there that one time when we were searching? Not searching, but we were hanging out. I think it was when we were taking those pictures, the uh the waterfall pictures for off grid. And we found the gun. And we found that like BB gun that looked like a real gun. Yeah, that was wild. And that was like, I mean, that's a popular area. So I think that hadn't been there very long. Yeah, it was right? like thrown off the bridge. Yeah, right. Next and to a, like a, a scooter. I think like that out. week there had been like two like attempted like armed robberies by teenagers. And like probably the item used. Yeah, like that was yeah. wild. Yeah, I remember, like, we just rolled up and, like, is that a fucking 1911? We just like, see it. You see <laughs> like, it from, like, 10 feet away. Like, Jesus. It, it looks real. Yeah. Shh, don't tell anybody. Take this. <laughs> cool. Free gun. Yeah, right. I love this city. <laughs> like, Rochester's great. I don't know what people are complaining about. <laughs> uh, just, you know. What routes can you buy a mag that's loaded already? Every time I buy a mag, it's not loaded. In the city, I go and I buy a mag, and it has staggered different rounds in it. That's great. <laughs> is, is that canon? Did that happen? <laughs> when did that happen? <laughs> I was not there for that. You know, I had to say one of the things, like, love him or hate him, Bob Lonsberry. Yeah. I always give him a lot of credit because he goes for, like, a run every day. Like, he oh. takes a br pretty long, like, I think he has programs in the morning and then like a long break in the afternoon and then yeah. he does programs like at night. So, uh, if you follow him on Facebook, he's got, he'll post like his route for his run every day and he will run, like he'll run right down Avenue D and like, there's this old timer that's been living on Avenue D for like 30 some years that sells boiled peanuts. And like, he'll just, 
he'll he'll just be in the streets like with the people and like yeah these people probably have the complete 180 like degree political beliefs from him and yeah. like philosophies and all that kind of stuff but he's out there i feel like that's us when we go into the city yeah. like you know we're just trying to bridge that gap bridge that bridge those worlds yes exactly 100 percent. cool i don't know what else you got i'm tired um Well, yeah, I don't know. I think uh, those of course, Jim's had those peanuts. <laughs> I've great. had those peanuts. <laughs> That's great. Um, so your baby circumcised or no? Uh, well, in our country, we don't do that. Ah, uh, okay. It's, it's it's a girl. I've tried. I've tried to make it like, Good. oh, I'm glad if we're, you're. If we're gonna do it to our son, why wouldn't we do it to our daughter? But. Uh. Didn't go over as well as I thought it would. That's good. I'm glad you're committed to not doing that. <laughs> I didn't do that to any of my, my kids. Well, Big Foreskin is doing it. Yeah, kind of bullshit. <laughs> I don't even want to get into it. Oh, did you want to end the, the stream there? We could have. That's yeah. usually the that's usually the hint. But you see, you're dumb. <laughs> is, is yeah. You have the option to end the stream whenever you want. But you. Oh, I like, can. I just hit the button. But you wait for me to do it, and then you say some outlandish so... shit, expecting me to. And if you have foreskin, give it a kiss for me. But you, you didn't prep it because you hit. But now I hit it. <laughs>